Anybody. Hey, what's up, Forum? It's Boots the Monkey from Dora the Explorer. And about a week ago, I did a video just covering the rumors surrounding Modern Warfare 3. And I thought I'd try something a little bit different because, you know, rumors aren't going to come up all the time for that game. And I thought, well, why don't I cover some of the big news that are associated with a lot of different video games at the end of each week? I might not do a video every week, but whenever relevant news comes up, I thought I'd cover it. So I'll still talk about Modern Warfare 3, I'll still bring up rumors, uh, but any other big gaming news that you guys might be interested in, I thought I'd bring that up as well at the end of each week. Uh, so let me know if you guys like this style of video, if, if you want to see more of it, I certainly can do it, and if there's a game that you'd like me to cover or bring up some relevant information in regards to it, I can certainly do that as well. So unless you were living under a rock this past week, you probably already saw the Modern Warfare 3 single player teaser trailer that was released on Monday. What you may not know is that Activision also demoed two single player levels to some of the gaming media. We've been getting feedback on their impressions, and it's mostly positive, but there are some mixed reviews. A lot of people who had a chance to see the demo praised the single player missions for the utilization of urban settings that create a new and immersive feel versus previous Modern Warfare single player levels. They also commented on the improved dynamic lighting and slight visual improvements. But some reviewers described the demo as simply a continuation of Modern Warfare 2 that there was nothing truly different enough that impressed them. We only have the trailer to go on, which isn't much, but what are your impressions of the game so far based on what you've seen? I'll also include the links of all the demo impressions in the descriptions if you guys want to read them yourselves. Even though we didn't get a chance to see the demo, there was a lot of information revealed. For when the first mission showcase, which takes place in and around New York City's financial district, is titled Black Tuesday. Uh, which gets its name from Black Monday, which was the largest one-day percentage decline in the stock market's history back in 1987. I won't go into too many details about the plot surrounding this mission, but it did confirm some things from the trailer. For one, we learned that the American forces around the New York Stock Exchange is in fact Delta Force. We also learned that the soldier throwing back ammunition is a protagonist known as Sandman, and the character with the dual optics M4 is Frost. Uh, in addition, the demo revealed that you can use a scoped noob tube. That's that's how they describe it. So, I, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess tubing has gone long range now. Uh, they also said that you can switch easily between the Red Dot EO Tech site and the ACOG site at any time, which allowed players to handle both close range combat and long distance combat very quickly and easily. Uh, the next mission was titled Mind the Gap. This mission marks the return of the AC-130. And also has the soldier, or also has you taking control of an SAS soldier on the ground. Uh, there's going to be a lot more urban combat in this level as well, and it culminates with that chase scene in the London Underground. So about a week ago, I talked about a rumor in which Modern Warfare 3 was going to try to compete with Battlefield 3 by implementing destructible environments, larger maps, and drivable vehicles. Well, one of those rumors was debunked at this tech demo when Robert Bowling had the following to say. Uh, fully destructible environments are not and have never been a part of our design philosophy. This isn't Frostbite 2.0. That being said, our engine is robust enough to allow for some degree of destructibility as you've seen in the past. So bits of debris will go flying in an explosion and the surfaces will degrade when shot at. Everything is determined by some sort of physics in-game, from grenades rolling around to bits of paper on the street. So the, the whole rumor of some large-scale destruction being implemented in... Modern Warfare 3, and it doesn't look like that's going to be the case, guys. I've heard that they're going to be a little bit of improvement on what was established in Modern Warfare 2, but don't expect any large-scale uh, large destruction like you will see in Battlefield 3. All this single-player information is good and all, but I'm sure a lot of you guys want to hear about the multiplayer. I, I know I do. But we might be in luck, because one of the UK news sites that was at the demo had this to say. Along with the main campaign, we're promised the now customary Spec Ops mission, and a two-player co-op option that was massively built upon since its Modern Warfare 2 introduction. As for online multiplayer, well, something big is planned, and an announcement is due next week. So, I'll include a link to this site in the description. If you guys want to take a look, see for yourselves if you think it's legit or not. I mean, we might be getting multiplayer news as early as next week. Uh, just keep your eyes peeled, and we might be seeing something uh, pretty shortly. Switching gears from Call of Duty, uh, for those of you who might not like picking up single player games because you think they might be a little too short or they might not have a whole lot of replayability, uh, you might enjoy what I have to say about Batman Arkham City, which is going to be re released late October. Sefton Hill, the co-founder and co-owner of Rocksteady Studios, had this to say about the game. It takes over 25 hours to complete the main stories in Batman Arkham City, with around 15 hours of story that's off the main path. 
It's completely down to the player when and how they want to tackle this. There's no right or wrong time. There's no other medium that can offer this kind of flexible experiences where the viewer gets to tailor the experiences they want themselves. So clocking in at about 40 hours of total gameplay uh, in the game, and also for the guys that played Arkham Asylum, uh, they're making some tweaks to the detective mode so it's not as useful i guess you're not gonna you're not gonna play the you don't need to play the entire game with that blue screen on that was a complaint with the first one so they've they've uh heard the concerns or they made some uh made some adjustments for it so uh little news there involving arkham city and you have different hit zones also dead island the open world zombie rpg being developed by techland has finally showcased some actual gameplay uh, I believe it's going to be released August 1st, um, and for those of you who may not know, it was supposed to be released originally back in 2008, but for some reason or another, it was delayed, and there was no information that was uh, that was that could be found about the game. In fact, a lot of people thought the project was scrapped. It wasn't until about three months ago uh, when they released that cinematic memento-style trailer uh, in which people found that, yes, it's still going to be released, and it actually, when that trailer was released, there was a a lot of popularity and buzz about the game but even then <clears throat> people were clamoring for gameplay footage and they finally delivered this week with a 12 minute demo that can be seen over at game trailers i'll include a link to that video in the description as well if you guys want to hop over there and take a look and finally it may have only been a beta but the gears of war 3 beta was extremely successful major nelson reported that 1.29 million players participated in the beta while it was available it, was also, it also has over 1 million pre-orders worldwide, making it the fastest pre-ordered Xbox exclusive game to date. Uh, finally, to give you guys a little bit of breakdown of the kills by weapon, the Nasher accounted for 30% of all kills, the Sawed Off uh, accounted for 18%, the Retro Lancer 13%, the Arm Rip or Face Punch execution was 11%, and surprisingly, surprisingly the Lancer was only 8%, so a gun <laughs> had less kills than an execution. And finally, to round it off, the frag grenade was 3%. So that's some of the gaming news that's happened recently. If you guys like this style of video, then I can certainly do more. I can do it weekly, bi-weekly, you know, any any frequency that you guys would like to see. Um, if you want me to cover a certain game, also let me know in the comments. I don't mind covering any and all games. Um, but if you want me to, or, or you would prefer for me to just cover one game in a video, so only talk about Modern Warfare 3, or only talk about Battlefield 3, I can do that as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and, and I can adjust accordingly. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed it, and like always, take it easy.